All right. Well, we're wrecked. One. Two, we want to get back on the YouTube channel for you guys because we haven't been on here in a while. So, um, we've been both kind of, well, not kind of, but we've been really busy. Um, I've been remodeling uh, my new house. Uh, I've got a new job. He's got a new job, vitamin shop. So, CP in the house. But uh, <laughs> uh, today we just want to talk about um, kind of just dealing with stress and just getting stuff done um, and good ways to go about it. Uh, that we found and you know we like Alex listen to some podcasts today um, I listen to an audiobook every morning um, I kind of cycle through one of like five um, that I'll post on Instagram or something just to let you guys know what I'm listening to during the day mainly in the mornings I wake up and listen to them so I'm um, just trying to help my day get started and stuff like that so keep us on point and um, but we just want to kind of briefly touch on it we were actually talking about it um, in the middle of our workout and I was like dude we need to actually film this stuff for people because I know they're gonna want to hear it and like this is what people need to hear and you know yeah our life's all about working out you know but we do a lot of stuff outside of that um, and so where we got you know where we are today it's like you know like we were talking about earlier you know it's just like you know you guys are lucky man you guys don't have to you know, Alex now has to go to a job, but, right. um, you know, that's just to make some extra money so we can build our brand more. So, um, it's one of those things that, you know, we've worked, we've worked for this, you know, um, you don't, you don't see all the, all the stuff that goes behind the scenes and, you know, all the hours that are put in there, the hours that were put in two and a half years ago when I first started, um, competing and lifting and stuff. Right. So it's more like, um, like how we look at it is kind of like, a disrespectful comment to say that like yeah to look at to him he's accused of being on steroids people don't know how he got to the size that he is and and things of that nature and it's it's disrespectful to him because two and a half years ago he, he started this by himself he um, was all alone really and posting on social media trying to get somebody to see him yeah I have okay so and my you know, girlfriend at the time can contest to this, and this was two and a half years ago. I was looking, I was just starting out on Instagram. I was just starting out lifting. I had no coach at the time. Um, you know, we weren't really sure about you know what all this was, and I had 500 <laughs> Instagram followers, which now I have 12.1 thousand or something. So, you know, I was going through and. I was like, man, I want a shout out, man. That's that, that's it. I was like, I need a shout out. And we contacted uh, my girlfriend's time helped me. We contacted a shout out, uh, one of those shout out pages, and they were like, you need a minimum of like 2,000 followers. And I was like, dude, I'm ne I'm never getting there. Like, I was like, I'm never gonna get there ever. There's no way. And so that was out of the question at the time. Um, and just to put it in perspective, like where I am now, and you know, it's taken me two and a half years to accumulate the following that I have now. It's taken me two and a half years to accumulate the physique I have now. Like, if you saw pictures of me two and a half years ago, like I wasn't this. Yeah. You know, I wasn't. You know, I intellectually, intellect, intellectually, wow, um, emotionally, physically, anything like I am now. So. Um, there's just so much that's gone into it, and yeah, we do find that disrespectful. So like, <laughs> someone, they, I mean, it's just like that sly comment, like, like you just woke up and you're just like, here you go, this was given to you. You guys are lucky. It's just like, we are lucky because we work right. to be lucky. You know, like, luck happens to people who are do more action, and you know, the more successful people are lucky more because they're doing more things. They have more opportunity right. to be lucky. You know, if you're not taking action, right. you can't be lucky. You've got to look at luck as being opportunity. And so it's just a door opening for you to take the chance. Like you, you probably go through your life and, and see these opportunities come about, but it's uncomfortable. And that's a big thing that I am going through right now is living my life uncomfortably. I'm becoming comfortable in that state because it's what's best for me. It's what's gonna 
make me better being in that state um, to be what I want to be and make this brand what we want to make it. Yeah, I mean, we started this brand, I don't even know how long, I mean, six months ago. Six months ago, maybe, you know? And it's, it's to us, it's taken off. Um, <laughs> yeah. You know, from the beginning, yeah. from the beginning, man, <laughs> and it, it's awesome, and you know we're honored and humbled to be in the position we are now, and work with the people we can work with, um, photographer wise and company wise, sponsor wise. Completely humbled by that, and I, you know, it's, it's it just didn't happen though, you know. So stop saying that. <laughs> if you say that to people who. Have put the time I put in. Put the time in. Stop. Okay. Stop. Truly find that person's past before you make any kind of comment like that. Absolutely. Um, but we wanted to again go back to the point of the actual video. Yes. Yeah. Rant done. Yeah. Stress. Oh, so dealing with stress. Um, so Alex, you know, watched the podcast. Andy Frischella, um, MF CEO. <laughs> That's what he calls it. Uh, MF CEO project. Uh, you can find it on iTunes. It's free. Uh, there, there's like eight or nine of them on there. Um, I've listened to a couple, but there's uh, I can't remember the name of them. But it's beside the point. He he goes across a lot of different points, and one of them being um, attention span, basically, and being t being able to deal with um, daily tasks um, and not overwhelming yourself because. Austin and I are uh, a victim of this. We constantly overwhelm yeah. ourselves with things, and you know, I'm I'm a victim. I hate. Okay, no, I'm not a victim of anything. <laughs> I'm gonna stop. Bad word I'm gonna stop there. <laughs> Terrible word choice. Yeah. Never a victim. Don't be a victim. Um, I don't even know what to use there. I, I don't know what to use either. Okay, so I'm guilty of you dare. Guilty. I'm guilty of. I wake up to get ready to work, and right. we were talking about this. Just before we started the filming this, you know, we're, we're, we wake up and, you know, you figure out what we're doing. That yeah, day. you figure out what you're doing that day. Yeah, that's productive, but what if the night before you've already done that? So right. instead of, you know, you wake up and you start getting ready to work, per se. So I spent an hour or two hours wasting my time doing what I could have done last night. Right. Or what, you know, tonight I can do things. I'm gonna plan out my day for tomorrow. At least my morning. You know, you don't four or five things I want to get done tomorrow morning before I lift, or before I have to go to my house to help me remodel, or you know, before the day takes off. And you know, I'm guilty of doing that. And you know, I did it this morning. I, I woke up and I I look at my phone. Well, oh, shit, shit, I was late. <laughs> I overslept for I this morning. Austin woke up when we were supposed to be here. Yeah. But on a normal day, he'll wake up and look at his phone, as, as I do as well. Um, and and he, you kind of figure out what you're going to do that day. Right. When that should be done. Like, if you have phone calls to make, have that person's name written down, the number beside it, and the reason you're calling. You need that done the day before. Right. So you wake up and you're just hitting on all cylinders. There's, yeah. there's, like, don't waste your time because you're, you're wasting an hour or two hours in your day. And then you're, you're, you trick yourself into thinking, man, I put two hours in. I probably need a break. Exactly. And then you haven't started anything. You haven't done anything, dude. <laughs> Nothing. Nothing's got accomplished. Nothing. And you want to pick an, an adequate amount of things so that you're not overwhelmed. Because you write down 15 things and you're like, damn, this is 15 things. How the hell am I going to get down 15 exactly. things? I'm still on one and it's it's 12. It's noon. Yeah. I got to lift to two. I got to eat sometime. Right. Um, so then everything just starts piling up and then you end up not doing anything. Right. So key, four or five things, like, like I mentioned before. Four or five things, and he listens to podcasts, so you can touch on this a little better. Right. Um, it, basically, it's going to be simple. Don't over like. Don't make it too crazy of things you have to do. Um, like for me, I would say uh, you want to write down things that are not going to be normal. So normal things for me, or going to work. Um, that's things that are just going to happen. Um, working out. That's going to happen. Uh, Eat, hitting water. That's going to happen. Yeah. Um, so something for me may be um, send, email, send emails out to my clients or um, take something and mail it or anything like simple, just some point, like things that you can build on. You want to build momentum in your day to, and like 
finish your goals, I guess. Yeah, like, I mean, one, make it attainable. Mm -hmm. You know, like, I, you know, we were just talking about, too, is, you know, we catch ourselves, you know, be realistic. Don't... And the word you'll realistic hear, sucks. That sucks, and, you know, you'll hear that all the time. It's thrown around. Don't be realistic. And you shouldn't be realistic. You just really shouldn't. Be and honest. Be honest with yourself on what you can attain. There's a difference. And there's a difference between... All of that, I lost my train of thought there, but <laughs> anyways, like, so, like, number one, you have the name written down, the number next to it, you call them. Number one's done, dude. Two, send email to sponsor. Sent it, done. Three, go get oil changed. Scroll Instagram for all I care. Yeah. Do nothing while you're there, but you're getting number three done. Four, I don't know, pick one. Go to yeah. Disneyland. I don't know. You go to Disneyland, and then you got the rest of the day, and to do whatever you want. You got free want. time. Yeah. So let's say you get that done. Let's say it takes you like three hours. It take take you an hour. Once it's done, it's done, dude. Right. And you're being efficient. That's the goal here. You're not wanting to be busy. You're wanting to be efficient. Yeah. Don't be busy. Be productive. Right. There is a huge difference here, and we get this. You know, I always say, I get caught in this thing where I just say like, no, sorry, I'm busy. I am busy. But I'm busy doing nothing usually. Right. Not usually, but I, more times than not, I catch myself, I'm doing something, I'm trying to be productive, mm -hmm. but I'm just not being productive at the time. And then I catch myself and I'm like, damn dude, I'm actually not doing anything. Right. I just think I'm busy in my head, there's so many, so many things going on, mm -hmm. because I don't have them written down, like I should, in the four or five things. I have 15 things running through my head when I shouldn't. Yeah. And none of them are getting done. None of, them, none of them are getting done. Exactly. You're just thinking about them and not actually accomplishing these things. Yeah. So, and, and another thing for us, we've got big goals. Huge goals. And we, we think about them in those terms. And we are looking at accomplishing these things at that height instead of looking at them in the day of what we need to accomplish that day to make that goal. Small, yeah. Small goals create the big goal. Right. So make small daily goals. Visualize, 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 oh my god, visualize it, I can't say it, <laughs> just visualize it, I can't, I can't right. say it. Yeah, it's just like, you can visualize it, I like that, and then also you can like have a picture possibly, of make a goal physique car, storyboard, anything. make a storyboard, yeah, those are great, um, you know, if you have a goal car, go to the dealership and have them take a picture of you in the car, hang it up, make it your background on your phone, you see it every single day, and you put, your, you put yourself in that mindset if yeah. you're already there. So let's say like every morning or every night before I go to bed, for instance, um, I, I'm listening to an audiobook when I go to bed, uh, just to make my subconscious think about these things. So maybe I'm not really listening to the, the audiobook, and that's fine, but my subconscious is. Um, and they're hearing these things, and I'm talking, like, I'm talking to myself at night, um, and I'm, I'm just thinking and I'm visualizing all these things and you know I'm visualizing myself you know be a you know, top fitness model in the world like what's I'm living that life I'm right. you know campus of Zeke's taking off and you know we're traveling the world and I'm answering emails like in Iceland or something <laughs> I visualize myself doing these things right. and I just really I really do and you know it's I wake up in the morning you know and then I have the list and I'm just rolling. I'm rolling. I'm visualizing great things. I'm, I have huge goals that don't seem attainable to anyone else. Right. Check mark, dude. Yeah. And, you there, know, there's a lot of times, on. like, there's a lot of things that we just keep between us because if we were to say it to somebody else, they'd be like, you're a fucking idiot. You're an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're from a small Midwestern town. Yeah. You can't okay. do that, buddy. Yeah. No one's you done know? that for me. You know? <laughs> if it hadn't, you know. It hadn't been done from someone here, so right. it's not getting done. Don't think in terms of what's already been done. Think in terms of what could be done. And I love that quote. And I forgot who said that quote, but I heard it the other day. The other day in our, my audio, one of my audio books. So, you know, don't think in the terms of what what has been done. You know, think in the terms of what can be done. What's the possibility of what can be done, or what's been done, and you can add to it, mm -hmm. or put your own spin on it. Like, there's tons of online coaches. Yeah, but do the online coaches give their clients their personal self, give them full access to talk to them at all times? Some do, most don't. Um, do the coaches 
on a, you know, daily text the client to make sure they're okay or how their week is going. Maybe some, but not many. We're separating ourselves. With each tier there, we're separating ourselves. Right. So yeah, there's a ton of online coaches that send out these things or meal plans or hell, they might be really good, they might suck, who knows? But we're doing our own thing. We're loving every second of it. Mm -hmm. We have huge goals, you know? And shit, I don't know, I'm happy, <laughs> I'm happy. Yeah, so we just wanted to kind of share our conversation with you guys. We have these types of conversations a lot. Damn, and we gotta get more of them on film. Yeah. Um, mainly on road trips. Uh, we're very, very guilty of having, the past two road trips we've taken. We've had really dude, good conversations. we've been on field trips. Yeah. For like, let's say the, the last road trip was like two and a half, three hours. We were on a field trip for like an hour and a half, two hours. Yeah. And you get caught up in the conversation. You get caught up in the like, conversation. We're already home. And I was like, dude, we're home. One. Dude, we should have filmed that, man. <laughs> I mean, we were vibing. We were talking. We were just doing this for two hours. Yeah. And talking about goals and visualizing these things and just talking about it like we were already there. Mm -hmm. Talk about these things, especially with your peers. Like, talk about it like it's already happening, you know? And you're just that much closer. You're that much closer. And another thing with goal setting is you need to, you know, studies have shown that one, you need to make your goal known. Be it to your parents, be it to your girlfriend, boy, boyfriend, whatever, um, your best friend, any friend, a squirrel, um, an inanimate object, anything. Yeah. Seriously, make it known to someone, preferably a person, that can keep you accountable because accountability is huge, and that's why I still have a coach, and that's why Lane Norton still has a coach. <laughs> can we say that again? Yes. <laughs> Lane Norton has a coach. Every single person out there should every, have a coach. Every, every single person should probably have a coach, okay? So, because he needs accountability. Humans need accountability because we are set up to usually take the easiest route, okay, and trickle off the path a little bit, um, you know, and lose focus or, you know, just to ourselves say, ah, you know, I'll, I'll take it up tomorrow or I'll check in the next day with myself. Dude, no. You know, you need that accountability. So tell your friends, tell your parents, tell anyone your goal. That's another person. The more people you tell to keep you accountable, the more pressure's on you to get that thing done. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, no, I agree with you. You know, if I tell Alex I'm gonna do something and then I just don't do it, like. And that's another thing is that the person, like, if he says that to me and doesn't actually do it, then I'm gonna be like, why didn't you do that? He's gonna be a dick. Yeah, and I'm like, I'm not gonna be nice about it. No, he's gonna be a so dick that, about it. That's like the type of person and that's, that you wanna have. Yeah, and, and the same goes for him. Like, right. I can be a so. dick, like I can. Yeah. And it's when that stuff happens, like if he tells me like, if he's gonna do something and he doesn't do it, you know, I'm coming at you, man. Right. I'm coming up, I'll, I'll stop what I'm doing and I'll drive over to your house and I'll, t I'll ask you, know, I'll, I'll tell you, like, what are you doing? I'll ask you, where is it? Have you done it yet? Yeah. Why are you scrolling Instagram if you've not been doing this, which you told me you were going to do? Right. You know, so that accountability is huge. True accountability. True accountability is huge. And, and know, being able to take that too, like, I used to get extremely butthurt of him getting on to me, but it, yeah. he's looking out for my best interest. So. You know, we do get, you know, we, sometimes we do get butthurt. You guys always see us, we're happy-go-lucky, obviously. We like to portray that. Right. You know, we always don't have the greatest days. Right. You know, this morning, I didn't come in in a great mood, okay? Because I overslept. I was pissed at myself. <laughs> I was so mad at myself for oversleeping. I wasn't even mad at him. Right, he wasn't even mad, but I was mad at myself. Okay? So, you know, that happens. That happens. One last thing. I want to touch on goal setting, getting rid of your stress, um, and attaining things. Any goal it is, is be detailed. Right. The more detailed you are with your goal or anything, the more the more, more likely you happen. are to attain it, or it's going to happen, or you're going to get that exact thing. So let's say you know, I want to, I want to compete in a show. What show? What show? How do you want to look? How do you, you want to look? There? How are you going to get there? You know? Uh, with many paths. There's, there's a lot of paths. There's a lot of things that need to be in order. There's a lot of things you need to, and that's what goes with visual, like visualizing that. The more things you have in place, the more detail you have in place, you can visualize those things and make plans for those things. All, every single detail you can make a plan for and attack it. So, and the more detail you have, the more small goals you can make. 
the small goals make the big goal we talked about earlier. So I don't know how long this thing is, but I hope you guys are liking it. Yeah, I'm just glad we got to get our thoughts and ideas out to you guys. Yeah, we're gonna be doing, uh, whether you like it or not, we're gonna keep doing it. Hopefully you like it. <laughs> if you like it, please let us know. I don't know if you can see my finger, because there's no screen on this thing, yeah. but we're taking, um, our we're taking our chances here. Okay? Let us know what you think of the sound. Let us know. Yeah, we got a new mic. We got a new mic. So what do you guys think? So, there are people in here, and they're banging. Yeah, so Wait. let us know. So let us know if you can hear us, um, and what you think, and all that, so. Post pictures of too much rock for one hand. Yes, we will the more, okay. That. Posting a picture, I swear to you, I will repost <laughs> on my own Instagram, okay? His Instagram, Campus Physique, my I'll, Instagram. We'll post it, okay? If you send us a picture in the gym with you doing too much rock for one hand, and hashtag Campus Physique and tag us. We are in. You're in, dude. In as, yeah. you know, fill them up. So, okay. do it. Be ready for our website coming very soon. Yeah, website and soon. Website soon. <laughs> .jpg. .mp4. Rekt, Rekt coming with that. So Rekt is, yeah. for that. Um, advanced hypertrophy, progressive overload um, routine. Eight weeks. Yeah. Getting you wrecked. We're dead after every, we're wrecked after every session. And if you've made it to this far, we've got a new homie on Campus Physique that will be released when we release the website. Yeah, if you guys made it this far, I commend you. Yeah, we got a new homie. There's a third, there's a third rock on partner to uh, yeah. Campus Physique now. Yeah, so we got a third guy, um, big asset to our team. We just let him know it's a guy. That's all you guys, that's the only clue you guys get, is it's a dude. <laughs> It's not a female. All right, <laughs> all right. We're uh, we're signing out here. Um, give us a thumbs up. Give us a rock on. Too rock much rock for one hand. Partner rock. Partner rock. <laughs>